Scratch. Hi! My name is Scratch Bastard from Bedford, Nova Scotia, Canada. I'm a disc jockey, producer, and master of ceremonies. Basically, I became a cult hip-hop fan around the Wu-Tang Clan album, Method Man to Cal, and, and, and that sort of thing. Um, I saw hip-hop on TV through... The first, the first hip-hop I remember seeing on TV was uh, actually the Jazzy Jeff and Fresh Prince performance at the American Music Awards, where they performed I Want Rock and I think Boom Shake the Room. That put out about 93. I would have been maybe 11 years old. I'm sure I saw hip hop before then, but that was like, I remember seeing Jeff on, on TV, and I've told him that. And he said, yeah, that was some crazy shit. That, he, said, he said they went up to um, the stage, and, and, and they said, what kind of gear do you have? And he said, well, I have this mixer. And they're like, what are you going to send me? He said, RCA. And they looked at him like he had four heads, like, we're sending you RCA signal. And, and they did it live on two turntables. And something about that stuck with me that I, I didn't really know what was going on, but it was really cool. And eventually, like, that became one of my uh, DJ influences and something that even to today is like a major part of my life. Coincidentally after that me and Jeff have crossed paths and and stayed in similar circles and, and now we're like really good friends and he invites me over and his wife cooks this me and my girlfriend dinner and like life is good. <laughs> First hip hop record that I found was 8 Ball and MJG Listen to Me Now back with Money Boss Players Games off the AIDS America is Dialing Slowly. <clears throat> America is Dialing Slowly. My voice is dying slowly. No, America is Dialing Slowly. <laughs> I can't even say it. America is Dying Slowly soundtrack. And 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 we, we bought it because we had the CD, but then we're like, oh, let's try the vinyl. And there were some cool beats on it. And that was the first time I was like, and then, of course, then it's like, now I have like 15,000 records and, you know, a lot a lot of hip-hop history on wax and I made my own records um, but that was what the first one was and still those are still some dope songs in that I actually did like a grade 8 English project on 8 ball and MJG listen to me now like <laughs> that's kind of how I rolled I don't practice in the same way that I did when I used to battle in the DMC but scratching for me will always be like a fun I always learn new tricks so to speak so in fact, this year I feel, I truly feel that this year was one of my, of all years, one of the years that I really, I, I got like three or four scratches this year, which to me was like, a, like yes, like, uh, that, was a, that was a really cool thing to, Did to get. Did show you, like, from practicing, or was it you yeah. just doing it on your own? Part, part of the great thing about DJ culture is you, you, you go around to different cities and people, uh, you share your, your knowledge of DJ culture with people, and that kind of coincides with me traveling. I get to go to cities and see people that are inspired in different ways and people that have different scratches. And one of the guys for me uh, that has inspired me is DJ Vajra from Colorado. And when I was touring with Rock 65 in Colorado, I went over to his house and he was like so far ahead of anybody that I'd seen. I was like, I don't even know how you get there. And it was, for me, it was not like a set time limit plan, but it was like a goal of mine to like, just kind of understand what he was doing four years ago. And I feel like now I actually understand what he was doing and I'm like, yes, like I'm fine. But of course he's probably like another four years ahead now. But just traveling and going out to see other people with techniques was like a really like important part of, of, of pushing myself forward. And, uh, and, and, and I do practice at home I practice on a daily basis when I'm home, and I'm home about half the year. So I guess I practice every second day. Live convention, to the Rock, it's yours. And third one, I just like um, an unreleased Stevie Wonder album that he never, never put out. I don't know if it exists, but if you were to present me with that, I would be the happiest man on the planet. What's up, this is Scratch Bastard. Chilling in the cooler, hanging with my boys, Capacity Entertainment. My name's Scratch Bastard and I'm a small town kid. The chances are you've heard this by word of mouth.